But, um... No. Hey, no. This is human food. You ate already. No. Okay, okay, look. Just this once. Sit. Sit. If we finish it in six months, yes. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. How are you guys all doing? How are you enjoying living on this wonderful planet we call Earth? Isn't it great? It is great, isn't it? I absolutely love it for one. It is amazing to share the planet with such unique and amazing individuals. It, it just... Uh, yeah, it's my reason for getting up in the morning. But there is one thing, if I had to, just, just one thing, if I had to like, you know, I was just nitpicking that I don't like. I hate it when, you know when the girl that you're paying six figures to pretend to be a dog, you know when that, you know, we all have it. When she gets into a fight with another girl that's being paid to pretend to be a dog, oh, that really annoys me, that does. I mean, you know, your hard-earned cash and then someone else who hasn't got their human girl dog hybrid under control starts fighting with yours like fuck what oh it's just it makes my blood boil i don't mind telling you so yeah today's video we're going to be talking about something we've talked about before we're revisiting the uh human <laughs> the human girl dog so uh yeah i made a video last year i think it was um if you haven't seen it go check it out and basically, it's about this girl that used to be an optician, and um, yeah, she quit her job to pretend to be a dog for a dude who's paying like six figures a month. Or she makes six figures a month, maybe there's more than one dude, I don't know. But she's basically making a killing on the the, the market, you know, that, that market where um, people pretend to be dogs. Yeah, that, that ever-growing market that we all know about. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, uh, it's about a week ago, I think I come across this on Twitter, where um, she was uh, out with her owner and bumped into another girl dog. Well, I'll show you the clip. Come on. No, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Hey. hey girl. Come on, Jenna, go. Let's go. Bad girl, let's go. Keep walking. Keep walking. Now, right. Okay, let's let's start off by being realistic here. If I could just inject a bit of logic into the situation, if no one minds. Um, <laughs> obviously, I would imagine that this is set up. I mean, it's got to be set up. It's 99.5% set up, um, which is great. You know, it's great that these people can get together and go... Or maybe it's the same guy that pays two different women to be dogs. I don't know. Like, this guy's got more money than sense, let's be honest, you know. Um, I mean, if I had that sort of money to throw away six figures a month, I'd probably just go to Nando's a few times. But what do I know? Uh, or it could be two different dudes that have lots of money and it's like, all right, you know, down at the golf club. All right, Barry, how's things going? Yeah, not bad. Just going to be chilling this weekend with the girl I'm paying six figures to be a dog. No fucking way. That's what I'm doing. Should we meet up? Yeah. Oh, do you think they'll get on? Oh, I fucking hope so. Be embarrassing if they had a fight, wouldn't it? Right? So, yeah, most likely this is set up. So, what a great world we live in where two guys who pay girls to be dogs can get together and make some quality content. Absolutely brilliant. But I would like to think, just in the slight chance that this was just not set up, wouldn't that be amazing if we're at that stage in society now where you're out walking the girl that you're paying six figures to be a dog and you just happen to bump into someone else who owns a girl that <laughs> they're paying six figures to be a dog. What a great time to be alive. Like, it really is, isn't it? It's great. And then they're having this little fight. What's amazing, though, if this is... Uh, it's not real, but let's just say it's real. Some fucker tied... The owner tied her up outside this fucking building. Like, great. What's next? You're going to leave her in a car and not leave the window down enough? And I said this in the last video. Where's this girl's dignity? You want some water? <laughs> Mm, okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's the best. I love it. I mean, where's either of their dignity? Let's be honest. Now, 
I know, my favourite group of people, the... Oh, if they're not hurting anyone, what does it matter? People are going to be chiming in, like they did in the last video I made on this. And uh, even though I addressed it in the video, I'll address it again here. You're right, they're not hurting anyone, are they? But it does matter because, like I said, particularly in the last video, I showed a clip where they were running around. She was pretending to be a dog in a children's park. You could actually hear children playing in the background. You want the ball? You want the ball? Go get it. It's fantastic. Yeah, okay, they're not physically going around hurting these children, but fucking hell. Like, I mean, you know, try explaining that to your kid. Your kid's gonna need therapy. Like, your kid's gonna look at you and say, What's going on, Dad? Like, I, I don't fucking know. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, what, what am I supposed to say to that shit? I mean, you're paying for my therapy bill, buddy. You got six grand to pay girls to pretend to be dogs. You can pay for my kids' therapy. And by the logic of, they're not hurting anyone. Well, okay. Well, shall I just go to the same park and walk around fucking naked? Like, I'm not hurting anyone. Am I? But I bet you'd all have something to say about it then, wouldn't you? Oh, put your cock away. Like, <laughs> oh, why have you got Johnny tattooed on your butt? He's an old Navy buddy, and if you'd been through what we'd been through, you'd know. Anyway, um, yeah. And you might say, oh, hang on. You walking around naked isn't illegal. Uh, is illegal, sorry. But her pretending to be a dog and fetching tennis balls isn't. No, it isn't. But it doesn't mean that it's fucking okay. All right, well, that about that standard then. What if I walk around the park dressed as a newborn baby? So I've got a nappy on now. Now now the, the arse and the, the cock are hidden. Is that all right now? No. Oh. I bet you'd have something to say about that, wouldn't you? Like, oh, no, that's not on. But dog girl's fine, is it? I'm not hurting anyone. Apart from your children who need therapy now. Bet you I'd be banned. If I was walking around that park dressed as a baby, at the same time that girl was walking around dressed as a dog. Oh, not dressed as a dog, but acting like a dog. And the police rolled by. Who do you think they'd chuck out first? Yeah, it'd be me, wouldn't it? And <laughs> that's the world we live in. Or, also, just to keep it fair, I bet you would all have fucking problems if, um, like... I, like, my girlfriend and I went to the park and I was pretending to be a dog. And then I uploaded that shit. I bet you'd have fucking things to say then, wouldn't you? Oh, look at this guy. Where's his fucking dignity? Like, yeah, I bet you would. Because it's a girl, it's like, oh, leave them alone. They're not hurting anyone. Yeah, fine. Finish. Hey, 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 we're almost finished. Hey, hey, no, we're almost finished. Bad girl. No, 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 stay, stay. Hey, hey, come back here. Come back here. Bad girl, not again, I just cleaned you. Also, I said this in the last video too, but I really hope that this guy is on some sort of a list where he can't buy a dog. Because he's obviously, like, I'm just saying, he's obviously tried to fuck a dog, hasn't he? Like, if he's got this sort of fetish, he's obviously tried to have sex with a dog. I bet they know him, like, by first name basis down the hospital. Oh, here he comes, it's Bob again. Oh, he's got another chihuahua on his cock. Takes ages to get these fuckers off. <laughs> it's so much easier when he comes in with a German Shepherd on his cock. They just slide right off. No, you know, I bet you this is the sort of thing. I bet he's the sort of person who, like, he'd know some things that, like, you shouldn't know. Like, oh, I tell you what, a Doberman's a better shag than a Dalmatian. I bet you he knows shit like that. <laughs> shit that nobody should know. Go to your bed right now. <coughs> Go to your bed. Right now. You know better than that. And I've said before, like, you know, uh, you know, with Twitch thoughts and whatever and all these things that women do, like on OnlyFans and stuff, a lot of these things, like I'd say, if I was a woman, I'd do the same thing. I mean, you're only taking money out of the hands of horny male virgins, so fuck them. Exploit them. It's fine. But like I said in the last video, you know, because I've said if I was a woman, I'd do all the same shit, you know? Why not? This is something I wouldn't do. You need to have dignity. And I do think, and I don't want to sound like, like I said before, please think of the children. But come on, man, like, don't, don't have like a, a, the younger generation of girls looking at this and going, oh, fucking hell, she's on six figures for this. I'm on board with this. No, let's not create a society of where we're basically walking around outside and we've got girls pretending to be dogs and perverts holding them on a lead. Come on, man. Like, yeah, you're not hurting anyone. But do we want to live in that world? 
do you want to live in that world? Because I don't. Like, <laughs> and you don't, oh, you don't like it, go somewhere else. Where? Mars? All right, you build a rocket ship and I'll go to Mars. Like, fine. But if you if I'm on Mars and you start fucking coming up with your fucking dog girls, oh, I'm going to be fucking pissed and you best believe there'll be another fucking video, mate. But, yeah, um, yeah, that's about it. I just thought we'd check in on her. And, uh, you know, there's a small part of me that's, like, fair play to her. Like, you know, she's making all that money. But, also, this guy's got more money than sense. I did say last time, and I'll say it again here. Like, he's paying six figures a month. I bet he could have haggled down. He probably went in too high, didn't he? I want to pay you to pretend to be my dog. Oh, no way. Uh, I'll give you uh, 100000 a month. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. You probably would have done it for 50, wouldn't you? <laughs> Start off. Judge the reaction. Give you 20 grand a month. Like, even then she probably would have went, yeah, all right. And then, you know, she could have, like, then sort of charged a bit more. Like, oh, you want me to keep doing this, do you? 30 grand. But maybe now shop around. You might be able to undercut. Because I bet there's girls out there that would do this for 90 grand a month, mate. Just saying. You know, maybe, maybe have a word. Maybe do some research. I don't know. But, yeah, that's about it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was funny and it was kind of cool to check in. Um... Yeah, not hurting anyone, but at the same time, you know, does that make it okay? I don't know. Whatever. I'm past caring. Yo, you just made a video on it, didn't you? Fuck off. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Alright, guys, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, hope you have a good weekend. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, as always. Oh, and also, I hate to be that guy. I hate to be the, in fucking YouTube mode, but if you can, please click the bell for notifications because people aren't getting my videos but even clicking the bell a lot of people are saying YouTube still doesn't tell them when I upload but if you click the bell anyway then at least there's a slightly more if you want to obviously I'm not telling you I'm not on the gun to your head yet um but if yeah if you want to click the bell and may maybe just maybe if you're not being notified on my videos maybe that'll be the difference maker I don't know all right guys thank you very much for watching uh hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one cheers guys